Good morning, this is Chris Menard. I have a great Outlook tip for you today to keep your inbox manageable. It is called Conversation Cleanup. I'm going to show you first where it's located, then I'll actually walk you through it. It's on the Home tab, the Delete group. There's a drop down for Cleanup, and it says Clean Up Conversation. So here's what happens. When you send an email and get a reply, that's a thread. Microsoft likes to call that a conversation. So you send one, you get a reply, you have a conversation. The problem is when you send an email out to multiple people and get multiple replies, you have redundant emails in there. Conversation cleanup will get rid of the redundant emails. So let's take a look at it. In my sent folder, I sent this one item this morning to two people. I sent it to Art Vandelay and Carol Martin. That's my email over here to the right that I sent. So let's go look at all their replies. I'm going to go to my inbox. I have just their five replies here. I'm going to go to the very first one. So Art Vandelay replied to my email. That started the conversation or the thread as I like to call it. Art says, I'll get you my feedback on Monday morning over there to the right. Next, Carol does a reply to all. Carol has a couple comments, it says, but notice there's Art Vandelay's email. So we have at least one redundant conversation. Carol comes back again. While I'm thinking about it, do we need to add overtime to the agenda list? Carol's initial email is in here, right here. She has a couple comments. And there's Art's again, so that's Art's got two redundant, and Carol now has one redundant. Art comes back and says, by the way, the travel policy, that one's, a, that one's an original, and the other ones aren't attached to that one, so that one's okay. One more from Art, but look, here we go again. Chris, I have a couple comments. I'll email you later today. And then there's Art's down below. So we clearly have a lot of redundant conversations or redundant threads. So let's see if this works. I have a total of five items in my inbox. Over in my deleted folder, hold tight. Over in my deleted folder, I've got everything grouped, but notice you don't see today. It's last week, two weeks ago. I'm gonna go back to my inbox. Here we go. Delete group, clean up, Clean up conversation. You can also do the entire inbox folder. You could also do the inbox and all subfolders right here, but I'm going to just do this one because that's what I want to test. I have five messages in my inbox right now. All redundant messages in this conversation. A conversation is by subject. In case you're wondering what makes the conversation or the thread is by subject, will be moved to the deleted items folder. You can go in here to settings and change your conversation cleanup, but I'm going to just hit cleanup. So I haven't changed any of the defaults. Five messages. It took away two of them, which I didn't know it was going to take away two. So 40%, two of my emails got re removed. That's uh, 40%. Let's go see if they're in my deleted folder. And they are under today right up here. Perfect. It got rid of Art's initial email, because that one was redundant. And it got rid of Carol's initial email, because Carol's is in there later. So that actually is correct. So there we go. That is conversation cleanup on the deleted folder. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I appreciate your time. I'm going to have a couple more Outlook tricks next week, and also I'm going to jump back into Zara Cloud with a couple tricks. Thank you.